Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, we'll be turning oversized characters into background masks with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to Pages, click on Add New. Next, we're going to give this page a title. I'm going to call this Background Masks, but of course, you can name your page whatever you want. And also, this technique can also work on existing pages. I'm going to go ahead now and click on Use the Divi Builder. And for this example, I'm going to build everything from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and select this, and then I'm just going to close this for now. So here we need to start by adding a background color to our section. So I'm going to click here on my section settings, click on background, and then I'm going to click this plus button and add black as our background color. All right. So with that said, I'm going to come over here to design spacing. So what we need to do now is to remove any uh, padding from the top and the bottom. So I'm going to set this to zero. So now there's no padding both to the top and the bottom. Now we need to move to the advanced tab and then click on visibility and then make sure that your horizontal overflow is set to hidden and the same applies to the vertical overflow. and then we're going to save. Next, we're going to add our row. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button. We need a single row for this. And for now, we're not going to add anything in that row. All right. So now that we have our row, we need to go in and add a background color to uh, row. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon and I need to come over here to column one. So I'm going to click this gear icon one more time and then we're going to add our background color by clicking this plus button. I'm going to paste my color in here. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Now, the next step is to add our image. So I'm going to come over here to the uh, third tab, click this plus button. Now you can use pretty much any image that you want to use in this design, but I'm going to go ahead and use this one here with the mountains and this beautiful lake. I'm going to go ahead now and click upload an image. And then over here on the blend mode, by default, it's set to normal, but for our technique to work, it needs to be set to multiply. Now I need to go and do some further adjustments to my row. So I'm going to click back over here and then I'm going to come to design sizing. So here we need to reduce the gutter width to one. So first of all, you need to activate use gutter width and then just drag the slider all the way to one. And then over here on the width, we're going to set this to 100%. And then we're also going to do the same to the maximum width as well. So that means our design is going to be edge to edge without any spaces. Now let's head over to our spacing and reduce our padding. In fact, we need to set our padding to zero for the top and the bottom. And now it's time to add our text module. So I'm going to save this and then I'm going to click this plus button here to add my module. I'm going to search for text. I'm going to select it. And then for my text module here, I'm just going to add the letter O. Now, while we're here in this text module, we need to come over here to background and add black as our background color. So I'm going to paste my value in here for black. Now let's head over to the text settings. So I'm going to click here on design text. So we're going to start by changing our font from default to Poppins. So this is a Google font. So I'm going to search for it and select it. Right. So with that selected now, we're going to make our font, I mean, our font size really large. So I'm going to set this to 100 VW. So you can see here it's nice and big, but of course, um, it's not really showing everything. And we'll see this in a minute. Right. So the next stage now is to align our text center. Now it's time to add our spacing so that we can start seeing our design. So I want to start off by adding a top margin. So I'm going to come all the way down here to spacing. And our top margin here is going to be set to minus six VW. And then for the top padding, I'm going to set this to 15 VW. Go ahead and paste it in here. And we also need a bottom padding. And again, this is going to be quite um, large. It's going to be 49 VW. So there you go. Now we can see our letter. Now we also need to change our text color over here to white. So I'm going to come back over here to text. And then I'm going to set my color here to white. Now for this design to work, we also need to go all the way down here to the filters tab. And then over here on the filters, we're going to change the blend mode to multiply. So by default, it's set to normal. And watch what happens when I select multiply. 
Now the image in the background is now showing here. So pretty much this design here is done. I'm gonna save and then we're gonna add a second row. So I'm gonna come over here, click this plus button and for this row, we're gonna add a single column. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. I'm gonna close this for now because we need to go into the row settings. So I'm gonna click here and click on design. Here, we need to set our gutter width one more time. So I'm gonna click on sizing, use custom gutter width, and then I'm gonna set this to one. Now, if I, if I haven't mentioned this before, the gutter width pretty much just uh, removes all the uh, spacing between the columns. Right, so the next stage now is to make our width and our maximum width 100% like we did before. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that set this to 100%. I'm also going to go to the spacing here and remove the padding. So I'm gonna set this to zero, uh, activate the chain because I want zero to be applied both to the top and the bottom. Now it's time to add our modules. So I'm gonna click here to save and I'm gonna click this plus button, search for my text module, I'm gonna select it. And then we're just gonna add our title in here. So let's just call this elegant background masks. Right, so I'm gonna set this to heading one, now let's go ahead and customize this text. So I'm gonna click here on the design tab, heading text. And over here, we need to make sure it's on the H1 tab. And then we're gonna start choosing our font. So I'm gonna go with Playfair. So here it is. If you don't have it, you need to search for it here. The way it says search fonts, it's a Google font and you can use it for free. Go ahead and select that. And then I'm gonna set my font weight to bold. We're gonna center this. And we're also going to set this text to white because as you can see, it's not easy to read on this dark background. So I'm gonna go ahead and select white. And the text size is going to be 6VW. Now we need this to be positioned uh, correctly. So to do that, we need to come over here to spacing. And let's start with our margin. So this is gonna be minus 47VW. So that will just push the text all the way up there like that. Okay, so that's looking great so far. Now let's add a left and the right margin. So I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna set this to one VW. And I'm also gonna add this to the right as well. Now the next stage is to add a divider. So I'm gonna save this, click this plus button, search for my divider module, select it. So make sure that show divider is set to yes because we need this to be visible. Now let's start customizing this. I'm gonna come over here to the design, click on line, change the color to white. Now let's set our divider weight. So I'm gonna come over here to sizing. And for the weight, we're gonna set this to 13 pixels. We want it nice and big. And for the width, we're gonna set this to 16 pixels. I mean, 16%. Now, as you can see, it's all the way to the left here. We need to center it. And we're also going to add a top margin to this. So I'm gonna come all the way down here to spacing. And the margin here is going to be 16 VW. And now I'm just gonna add a text module to column two. So I'm gonna save this, click on this plus button, search for my text module. And over here in this text module, all we need to do is just to add some dummy text. So I'm just gonna paste it in here. But as you can see, uh, we have a slight problem here. The text is not easy to read on this dark background. So we need to change our text to white. So I'm gonna click here on design text change this to white. And the font here needs to be open sans. So I'm gonna search for it and select it. Now for the text size, we're gonna set this to one VW and our line height is gonna be 1.9. And our text orientation needs to be set to centered because everything else is centered. Now let's add our margins and make sure that everything is aligned correctly. So I'm gonna click here on spacing. So we're gonna start here with the uh, top margin of three VW. And this needs to be applied both to the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna activate this chain. And then we also need a left and a right margin. So here we're gonna set this to 27 VW. And it needs to be applied both to the left and the right as well. Now, before we move on to add the next item, I'm just gonna come back over here on the content, click on text. And I'm just gonna reduce this paragraph here, just make it one paragraph. Okay, so that's looking good. I'm gonna save this now. And the next stage is to add a button. So I'm gonna click this plus button here and select my button module. So the very first thing we're gonna do is to center it because everything else is centered. So I'm gonna click here on design, alignment, center. Now, if you wanna customize this button and um, have your own design on it, you need to come over here to button and activate use custom styles for button. Now with this selected, 
let's go ahead and set our text color. So here, we're gonna set this to white, and then we need to also set the text size. So here, we're gonna set this to 1VW, so it's nice and small. And then we're gonna go ahead now and reduce the border radius. So I'm gonna scroll down here, set this to zero. And for the button border width, we're gonna set this to one pixel. All right, so let's move on and make our text ultra bold and the style needs to be uppercase. Now let's head over to the spacing. So what we need to do here is just to add a bit of um, margin and also padding. So let's start with the bottom margin. Let's set this to 10 VW. And for the top and bottom padding, we're gonna set this to 15 pixels. So as you can see here, I'm just adjusting the size of my button here. And then we also need to go to the left and right padding and we're gonna set this to 50. So this just makes my button much bigger. So I'm gonna click here on this uh, chain icon to apply the same value to the right. And there we go, now we have a nice big button. All right, so let's start designing example number two. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button, click on regular. So I'm just gonna close this for now and go into my section settings. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon, design, spacing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to add zero to my padding. And I'm gonna apply this both to the top and the bottom. And then I'm gonna to come to the advanced tab, visibility, and then I'm gonna set this to overflow to hidden. Okay, so this needs to be applied both to the horizontal and vertical. Now let's start with our design. So I'm gonna save this, click this plus button to add our row. I'm gonna add a single column first to start with. And then I'm gonna to go to my column one background color and add a color. So I'm just gonna close this for now and then click here on this gear icon. Click here on this gear icon for column one. Click on background and then I'm gonna add my color. Now, as I mentioned before, if you wanna use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link in the show notes below where you can follow along with the post. All right, so what we're gonna do now is to click on this third icon and add our image. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it and then click upload an image. Next, I'm gonna come over here to my blend mode and set this to screen. And then now I'm gonna go in and make some settings, my changes to my rows. So I'm gonna click here on design sizing. The first thing I wanna do is to go to my gutter width and set it to one. So first of all, activate it and then drag the slider all the way to one. And then for our width, I'm gonna set this to 100%. Same thing with the maximum width. And then I'm gonna to go to my spacing here and set my padding for, I mean, to zero, both for the top and the bottom. And then we're gonna save. Next stage is to add a text module to our column. So I'm gonna click this plus button, search for my text module and select it. So for this example here, I'm gonna paste the following characters like that. But like I said, if you want to just copy and paste them, these characters are also on the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Now I'm gonna come over here to background, add white as my background color. And then now let's work on our text settings. So I'm gonna click here on design text. We're gonna change our text to poppins. And we're also going to add a color to our characters here. So I'm gonna click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my color just like that. Now the next stage is to make this really nice and big. So we're gonna set this to 880VW. And for the text orientation, we're gonna set this to centered. Now let's head over here to spacing. And over here on spacing, we're gonna add a top and bottom padding. And the value here is gonna be 27.8. We're gonna come over here to filters. And we're also going to come over here to the blend mode and set this to screen. And now we can see briefly that we have this image that we added uh, to our row now showing in the background. So I'm gonna save this for now and then we're gonna add the second row. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button, single column, I'm close this for now. And then I'm gonna go into my row settings. So as we did before, let's work on the gutter width. So I'm gonna click here on sizing and we're gonna set our gutter width here to one and also our width to 100% and maximum width as well. <clears throat> We're gonna set our top and bottom padding. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing and set this to one VW. But of course, we're gonna apply this to the top and the bottom. And then we're also going to do the same for the left and the right. So I'm gonna paste it over here and activate the chain as well. 
So we're going to save this and then we're also going to add a text module. Search for it, select it. And in this text here, we're going to just say elegant background masks, highlight it and set it to heading one because we want this nice and big. So next, we're going to come over here to design heading text. Make sure this is set to poppins and then we're going to center it. Now for the font weight, we're going to set this to semi bold and the color needs to be black. So I'm going to come over here to the eyedropper tool and just add six zeros for black. Now it's time to add the size. And by default, my, our heading text is set to 30 pixels. So let's set this to 5VW. And we also need to push this text over here to this area here. So we're going to come over here to sizing. I mean to spacing and add a negative margin of minus 38. So we're also going to add a divider here. So I'm going to click this plus button, search for my divider module and select it. So the color of my divider here needs to be set to black. So I'm going to come over here to design line, click here and paste my value for black. Now, as we did before, we're also going to add some thickness to this. So for the weight here, we're going to set this to 13. And then here on the width, we're going to set this to 16%. And then we're going to center it. Now let's line up this um, divider correctly. So I'm going to click here on spacing and we're going to set a margin of 2VW to the top and the bottom and then save. Next, we're going to add a text module. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, search for my text module and select it. So again, we're going to need some dummy text in here, but I'm, going to, I'm just going to leave this text as it is here. And then we're going to come over here to design text and making sure that this is set to default or you can actually choose open sans. And our text color here needs to be set to black because we're working on a light background. So I'm going to come over here, add my value for black, add our text size and our text size here needs to be set to 1VW and our line height to 1.9. Okay, so let's make sure that this is also centered because our design here is also centered. Now let's head over here to the spacing and uh, to do that, we click here on, on uh, spacing and add our margin. So I'm going to start here with the top margin of 3VW to the top and the bottom. And uh, we're also going to add a left and right margin of 27VW. So I'm just going to add it here like that, activate my chain. All right, so the next step now is to add a call to action button. So I'm going to click here on this plus button search for my button module, make sure that um, come over here to design, make sure everything is centered. And now I can just design my button, you know, the way I want it. So since we have this black theme going on here, we might as well set that theme on our button. So to customize our button, I'm just going to come over here to button, use custom styles for button. And I'm going to go ahead and add my text size as 1VW. And for my button background color, I'm going to set this to black. Now, as you can see here, my border width is kind of like messing up our design here. So I'm just going to get rid of that by dragging the slider all the way to zero. Now for the border radius, in fact, we need to change the style of this button. So let's add up a border radius of 15 pixels, make our text uh, all caps. And we're also going to make this bold. In fact, let's make it ultra bold. Now let's further customize our button by coming all the way down here to spacing. So we're going to start by adding a bottom margin of 10 VW. Now let's start adding our padding. So this is going to be 15 pixels that needs to be applied both to the top and the bottom and then left and right. We're going to set this to 50 pixels like that. And then finally, we just need to drag this button into position and also change this color. So I'm going to go back over here to our text. In fact, you need to go to our button text and set this to white. I'm going to save this. And then I'm just going to drag this button here below our text. And pretty much this is our final design. So I'm going to publish this and exit the visual build. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. And if you have any questions regarding this tutorial, please leave your questions in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.